Greetings everyone, just doing another updated video on how the Raid Slayer launch is going. I believe this is day 10 in the US, which uh, it is the 1st of October here in Australia, so it must be about quarter to 11 in the morning in uh, East Coast US. Anyway, Raid Slayer has now three five-star reviews on Amazon uh, US, which is great. Uh, and at least one of these, the new reviews is uh, reviewed heroin books before because a few of the other reviewers hadn't reviewed many books. So that always looks a bit suspect, suspect if a customer looks into it. So as you might be able to see, the book also has a bestseller tag in humorous fantasy. And this is a humorous fantasy genre. I don't know um, how long I'll keep that title because some of these uh, books are well, some of them are traditionally published, but also some of them are big name indies, I believe. And I mean, yeah, look at these reviews, like 121 reviews for the book in second place compared to my measly three. That one's got 475 reviews. Anyway, I imagine these are a lot bigger authors than me. I'm a, kind of a nobody. But yeah, I'm the top of that list. So I've got the bestseller tag. I'm also at the top of the brand new releases too, at least for now. So I'd have that bestseller to oh, that tag as well. And I have it in another category. I just can't remember what one. So I've actually got it. I think my book might have three tags at the moment. So all up, the launch is still going really well. The current rank of making this video is 919. But earlier in the day for me, uh, very early in the morning for the US, uh, it got down to 935. And a little after that, it actually got down to 891, and 891 is the lowest it's ever been, as far as I know. Most of the times it's really low in the ranks is like 3 in the morning in Australia or something, so it's kind of hard for me to watch. But yeah, 891 in the store, that's, I feel like that's quite, quite an achievement for a nobody like me. Sales and page reads wise, it's kind of been going up and up in some ways. I mean, I had a bad day on the 28th for sales, but the page reads weren't too bad. But yesterday on September 30th, it had 23,769 page reads and 33 sales. And I believe 28 of those sales are on the US store. It's still early in America and it's already had 13 sales. And that's worldwide, of course, and 13,299 page reads. But if I look at that in the US store, that's eight sales today already and 11,436 page reads. So pretty good for the US store already. Now of this, only three people have returned the book since Raid Slayers come out, so I'm pretty happy with that. Here's my total data for books, so it's gone up massively, and yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a huge jump. The problem is, this uh, other one in the middle here would have been pretty high too, except that's when Amazon hammered me for page reads. As you can see, they left almost none of my page reads there. It was all royalties in the end, almost. So, and considering... There's slightly more money in page reads this month, or last month now, I guess, September, compared to royalties. If they do hammer me again, that's going to knock things down substantially. So All Up Raid Slayer has sold 278 copies. It's had 157,594 page reads. Uh, and all up, it's earned $1,312.75 total. And that's been in 10 days. Now, in US dollars, uh, it's made $901.61 profit. So, yeah, that's a pretty nice profit there. <laughs> the total cost of the book is roughly $207.65. So, yeah, it's actually been pretty cheap. I'm only running about, about $10, maybe $9 US a day in ads. So to get it to where it is is not costing me too much. I mean, obviously that's going to add up over a month, but compared to some genres where you're spending hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars a month on advertising to keep your book up in the high in the store, I'm kind of happy that my book's very cheap to promote. A lot of books have it in its also bought as, uh, as well. I mean, all my also boughts here, the best sellers and stuff, Raid Slayer is high up on their list of also boughts. So that's great. I imagine even if Amazon hammers me down with page reads and kicks the book out of the algorithm, the also being in the also boughts of a lot of these books is going to help long run for sales and stuff. So overall, I'm still really, really happy with this launch. 
it is about a bit over a week maybe before Amazon starts assessing the page read thing. So it's going to be a scary time waiting for that to, the hammer to fall if it does. But other than that, I'm feeling really great about it. I have been thinking about should I put book two up on pre-order even though I actually haven't even started writing it yet because I'm trying to finish Vasaria book three, which has ended up being such an ordeal. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that one. Because, uh, yeah, I really think book two the cover in particular is going to sell even better than book one and I sort of figure if I put book two up it shows that it's part of a series and I'm working on the second book and I'll probably put it up at a, as a full price pre-order like three ninety nine or something and yeah I mean I don't know and I might even just wait till after the page read hits things are out of the way if it happens and then put it up. I just think it could really help push uh, book one up even further once people see it's like a series type thing. Uh, but yeah, that's something to consider in the future. Getting a bestseller tag on Raid Slayer has definitely been great considering I, I was beginning to think it wouldn't get one just because I chose such competitive categories. But I suppose good things come to those who wait. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Take care.